It's been an offseason of change for the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, and no, one of the notable changes was the jettisoning of Vikings legendary receiver Adam Jerome Ezekiel Thielen. The pride of Detroit Lakes, Mankato State University Community College, Nailed it. I worked his way up as a UDFA a tryout. Practice squad eventually became a Pro Bowl receiver and will go down as one of the best Vikings receivers of all time. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, father time is undefeated and Thielen is getting up there in age. Maybe he's lost a step uh, and his contract was pretty uh, pretty large and the Vikings saved a lot of cap by moving on this offseason. But we always have the good memories, right? Uh, and Thielen uh, eventually signed with the Carolina Panthers uh, for a decent chunk of change given his age in free agency uh, as they look to reboot their team uh, by trading up for the number one overall pick, Bryce Young, out of Alabama. And yeah, Th- Thielen's doing the thing that players have to do when they change teams. Like, we're here to win games. We're here to win Super Bowls, even though, I don't know, real chance the Panthers can win the Super Bowl in the near future. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is before they drafted Bryce Young, by the way. Uh, and he, he can't just say, I came here because of the weather and the golf and because they paid me and because I'm going to get a lot of work because the other receivers are DJ Chark, Jonathan Mingo, and uh, Terrace Marshall Jr. He, like, he, he can't say that. He can't. So, again, I understand what he's saying here, but the Ellen dropped some pretty major cap uh, this week at Carolina Panthers mandatory mini camp. And this is from uh, Josh Klein, who's a uh, beat writer for the Panthers, not the former Vikings offensive lineman, Josh Klein, although that would be hilarious. Uh, also, Ooh, look in the front row. D- doesn't that dude look like a Spielman doppelganger? Like is Rick back in the game as the Panthers beat reporter? I don't know, man. Uh, Bryce Young and the rest of the first year players on the Panthers are the best group of rookies that Adam Thielen has ever played with. The only played with Justin Jefferson as a rookie. So it's it's important to uh, just just note there a little bit. So, again, I fully understand what Thielen is doing here. And he's trying to build up his teammates. And you, you do have the number one overall pick in Bryce Young. I think that he could be a stud in this league. Mingo in the second round was, was a fantastic value. Uh, DJ Johnson from Oregon I think could be a force. Chandler Zavala, everyone liked coming out of NC State. He stays uh, in the area as well as uh, Jamie Robinson from Florida State. So, you know, small draft class, five rookies, but... I understand what Thielen is trying to do. He's going to uh, he's going to interface with Bryce Young and Jonathan Mingo a lot, so he's just trying to hype up their guys. I fu- fully understand, but I mean, Thielen, you you were teammates with Justin Jefferson in 2020, his rookie year when he bro- when he set the rookie receiving record of 1,400 yards. Probably would have had 1,500 plus yards if he was allowed to start the first two games of the year instead of Ola B.C. Johnson and Jefferson is quickly become the wide receiver one in the National Football League. It's quickly going to become the highest paid receiver in the National Football League's history. So. <sighs> Again, I I don't think this was intentional or malicious against Jefferson. I I literally just think that uh, Thielen got a little bit carried away, got a little bit hyperbolic, and a little bit uh, just major cap in in this spot. Because All right, so Thielen came in as a UDFA in 2013. Let's just look through. So, again, recapping. Panthers class this year. Bryce Young, Mingo, et cetera, right? Uh, But – I mean, he's played with some pretty good uh, players like uh, Cordero Patterson, probably the greatest kick returner of all time. Uh, Xavier Rhodes was an all pro there for a hot second. They got Barr was a team leader for a number of years. Teddy. Hey, Teddy. If he hadn't gotten hurt, could have worked out. Uh, Kendricks was great for a number of years. Daniil Hunter, huge value for a third round pick. Uh, Stefan Diggs. I mean, he played with Diggs as a rookie and, and Diggs. Well, Whenever he's not forcing his way out of Buffalo, we'll, we'll see. But, um, you know, Diggs uh, is probably a top five-ish receiver in the league right now. My Cole Pruitt, your Cole, your, your Cole, my Cole, our Cole Pruitt. Absolutely love it, man. Uh, 2016, yeah, we don't need to talk about 2016. 2017, Dalvin came in like a house on fire before he tore his ACL as a rookie. Uh, that's it. That's it. 2018, uh, Brian O'Neill has developed into one of the better right tackles in the game. Daniel Carlson is now like a Pro Bowl caliber kicker with the the with the Raiders, but no big deal. Uh, we'll skip that one. And then 2020 Jefferson, absolute stud, getting after it uh, as a rookie. Uh, and then you know, last year, uh, Spiel, uh, Thielen's final year um, with uh, the Vikings, um, you know, sort of a. 
it's a draft class that's certainly going to be better in year two and beyond. But also 2021, Christian Darrisaw coming in uh, is going to be one of the best left tackles in the game. But, of course, the, the, the glaring omission is the 2020 class with Jefferson. And to a degree, you could talk about Diggs, too, because Thielen was in year three uh, by then, working his way up uh, as a practice squad guy. And then Diggs came in as a fifth-round pick and did the damn thing. So your respect where it's due. Uh, but, of course, yeah, Jefferson is the major one. So, I mean, I don't know, man. It's like you would think that you would remember playing with the best wide receiver in the National Football League and a guy who was automatically the best player on the team as a receiver as a rookie. But even though Zimmer wouldn't play him the first two games of the of twenty twenty because. I don't know. I don't know, man. But it's all right. We'll settle this on the field. We'll see how good uh, Jonathan Mingo and Bryce Young uh, really are week four. And uh, we'll, we'll see Thielen. Like, I want Thielen to get a couple of catches, but also I want the Vikings to win by 50. <laughs> that, that, that's all. And, you know, maybe Jefferson can remind Thielen who he is. And, yeah, he was pretty good as a rookie. But, again, I don't necessarily hold it against Thielen. I understand what he's trying to do. I think that he just was really off base. In this. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Adam Thielen drops a major cap uh, trying to h- hype up his uh, Carolina Panthers rookie teammates. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo as well as check out the store, purpleftw.net. But until next time, Skull Production Value.